What's up guys, it's Sean Reeves Live, and today we're going to be checking out the new release, literally just released a couple of minutes ago, from Bang 10 TV. This is Jimin Be Mine English version, the visualizer. I have no idea what to expect from the visualizer, but as far as like the actual song goes, I'm really interested in this because of a few things. I know that this voice does sound different whenever he's singing in different languages. I love hearing nuances between like Korean and English and also like Japanese and Korean. It's really interesting to me. So I'm really wondering like what all different things we're going to be picking up from him singing in English for me mind. So if y'all are new to my channel, please smash that sub button. Let's do this together. Freaking boom. And then hitting that little old play button. Whoop pow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at us, look at us, getting caught up in the moment. Yes. Okay, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that guitar, man. That's so clean. If I was an island, you'd be the party. Yeah. I know what you want and baby I want the same Love till the morning Wake up from falling oh, This kind of connection is as real as DNA Baby come, baby come Show me DNA, what you want love is Yeah, yeah Look at us, look at us Getting caught up in the moment Love is coming and go In and out of my heart All I really know Is I wanna be with I love that line so much. So I gotta say, the guitar in here is so freaking good. I love the guitar in this song. Probably one of my favorites. I've said this a few times. This and Who are my two favorites on this album. I think this, like in English, even makes it that much cooler in my opinion. Like, I like it a lot. And uh, I don't know. This will really be cool. It's going to be stuck in my freaking head now. Background to you. Yeah, yeah. Look at us, look at us, getting caught up in the moment. Love is coming down in and out of my heart. All I really know is I want to be where you are. I love that line so much. So good. Bringing it down, dude. Yes. I think one thing that's standing out a lot too is these backing tracks, man. They're like popping out to me a ton in this. I don't know why. Maybe they're the same in like the original version as well too. But it just pops out a lot more in this to me. And I'm loving that, man. And it's like, I love knowing the production diary that we got too for Face. And like this possibly being done around the same time. Uh, but like just knowing how he wrote a lot of Face... I feel like they had a lot of fun while working on this song as well too. Just like how different of a style this is for him and having like the really beautiful guitar and like all the different vocals that are going on in the background. I also feel like here, it just seems like there's just like this come up with like his, like an, like, I don't know, not necessarily like an upgrade, but like, it seems like he's gotten a little bit more diverse as well too with his vocals recently. 
I love that so much. That guitar is so slick. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think one thing that's awesome about that song as well, too. A lot of those, uh, a lot of the things that he was doing, layering that, it doesn't even repeat itself. So it's like something they really thought was like, oh, this is cool, and so they put it in there, but it doesn't really repeat itself. So it's like very much so just serving the purpose of being an interesting thing that they did. It's not necessarily to be like that hook that they could bring back later on in the song or something. They're just really interesting backing vocals that they just put throughout there and they're like little ear candy easter eggs for us to have and i love that that makes it that much cooler to me in my opinion just like vocally what he's doing it's just a work of art in a really cool way it's like freaking watching a bob ross thing and he's put in a tree that's just like randomly there looks beautiful and like he didn't have to it already looked amazing but homies out there just putting freaking trees in for no reason and i love that so i feel like that's essentially what jimin's done a lot with this and like him and everybody that worked on this it just sounds like they had fun working on it. And I love that. And also on top of that, him even doing an English version of this song, it's like, I'm already wondering how he had time to do the freaking album. How did he have time to do the different versions of this album that he's done? Like all the different styles of who that he did. How did he have time to do that? Does anyone know? Is there actually any evidence that they don't have a time machine? I don't freaking know. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope y'all are having a blessed day or night. Whatever time it is you're watching this, spread some positivity out there. Be kind to each other. And if anybody needs anything at all, all of my socials are at John Reeves. Live. Send me a message, homies, and I'll catch y'all in freaking toodles. Bye.